screen. So I'll move in here with a little tips and or tricks video. Gonna show you how to find ember ruptures and ember veins. Best way to do it is to stand by one of these little death respawn things. They have various different looks. Um, it's a lot easier to see these in open areas like Meadowlands. You can see the green. Green are ruptures, which are not dungeons. The uh, purple are like open dungeons. Looks like there's two here. Um, I'm going to go travel to a place where it's a lot harder to see these because it's a forested area. And they probably need to. Uh, my suggestion is either have them where they can be seen through forestry or they have to go much, much higher to get over the top of the uh, trees to be seen. So I don't know. That would be my suggestion. My, I think the better way to go is that they, when you're seeing, I guess this would be kind of ember vision or whatever you want to call it. Maybe they, they should be able to just pierce through the uh, foliage so you can see it better. That way, even in a forested area, say like Red Shore or Highland Hills, you'd be able to find what you're looking for. So it looks like there's one fairly close by because it looks very tall. I'll show you what I mean by a rupture. Ruptures are closed, um, veins, dungeons, and those would be open. Looks like there's not one too far away. Let's see if I can actually remember where to go. So here we go. We're going to run over to this one. Bring out my late so you can see a little better. Other ways to uh, find them is to look for glow and glow on the ground area around the rubber because every once in a while a little pulse. Now there's a fence in my way. There we go. So now you can see the kind of pulsing through the trees there. There's there's a rupture. As you, as I get closer here, you'll see that it's uh, it's closed, so there's no way to get into it. So it's not a vein slash dungeon. But the way you see it, seen it also for this one, you can also use that to find the dungeon, which I think was over this way. I don't remember exactly. But there's other indications to find that one. So you see that got big long ruptures all the way through here. So if you killed something in this area, you'd have a better chance of it going actually there. It's a, I don't know if you saw the lightning, but it was in this direction. Which indicates to me that there's a Mervane slash dungeon in this area. And as you'll see here, it almost looks like a four fingered claw hand reaching out of the ground. Um, it's kind of obstructed by the trees here. This one doesn't pulse quite as intensely as a rupture. There's a little bit that you saw there, but it's more indicated by these little lightning strikes. So now, your little claw hands reaching out here. That's your uh, number vein entrance. So that's the difference between the two. Now I'm going to. Um, Port over to 
red shore. I'll show you the difficulties there in trying to find a, a rupture or a vein. Sure, yes. Loading, please wait. So I'm going to go to a few different locations that have opened to this guy in Redshore. He's level 25. So I don't have all the uh, fires located in Redshore yet. Okay, as you can see here, this um, one has a different little death respawn area. It still works the same, but it's going to be a lot harder because of the hills and forested area. So you can see that you get, the, nope, there is one right there. But if there's any other ones, yeah, you're not going to see it through this. Forest is way too thick in this direction. There apparently is one right there. This stuff might be a bit higher, level, much too high of a level for me. I'm gonna go check it out. And this one will be a rupture, not a vein slash dungeon. Power of the, uh, oh, I discovered a new region. Nice. There we go. Hey, I moved in here just to remind you that if you like what you see, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for future notifications. Now, let's get back to the program. Another yellow cow. But I'm not going to be fighting two and three ups with this guy. At least not from there. Oh. Thought it would be closer by, but... Apparently not. Oh, there it is. Or in this area. You see the pulsing through here. Ruptures tend to have the bigger rupture explosions than the dungeons. Like I said, the dungeons are indicated better by the uh, lightning strikes. There you can see it in the middle of the stone circle there. So now I'm going to run back. Go forth to a different area. Let's see if we can find a rupture. Just, just kind of showing off. Um, well, I don't know if you'd call it showing off, but showing that there is much more difficulty in areas that are heavily forested and where have uh, lots of hilly or rocky terrain. So maybe they get change it. So when you're in that kind of 
I don't know what to call it. I call it death vision or ember vision. Maybe ember vision fits better. But the uh, ruptures and dungeon indicators or ember veins show through um, thick forest better. Okay, maybe since you're in that uh, ember vision and the uh, forest things and other terrain kind of fade in the background. I'm going to use this to port down to here. So that one's not too far away. So we're in the town here. And there's a uh, an other. He'll disappear as soon as I get too close to him. There he goes. So now I'll move this while I'm here. So yeah, if there's any could circle around. Can't see that one. Might it might just be too far away to see the smoke, but we saw in that uh, one in the Meadowlands where you could see, we saw all kinds of ones. All over the place, because he uh, had clear lands, no, no big forested area. So, so yeah, if there's any, any close by, yeah, we're not seeing it. Oh wait, sound. It looks like there might be, just barely see some purple right through here, I don't know if you can see it. But it's in that area with the. I don't know if that'll help. Not really. Looks like there might be a Ember Bane slash dungeon in this direction. But yeah, as you can see, very hard to see. So maybe. My suggestion is maybe it either it's more intense, goes much higher in the air. Or probably the best one is like the uh, forest, forested areas kind of just fade in the background when you're in this kind of ember vision or death vision, whatever you want to call it. I think I'll stick with like ember vision since it uh, fits with the game name. <clears throat> So I'm going to run down to this one. One more ember uh, fire kind of nearby. At least that I've discovered on this guy. And this one has that uh, respawn tower thingy right next to a cliff. game has some nice music. Well, at least I think it does. Your opinions may vary. I think my favorite music is in Dry Foot. Got another twiggy kind of death respawn area. This one's down by the war area. Highlight and I step near it. There we go. Cool. It does have live updating. Cool. Good to know. So. I know there can be one over here, but it doesn't look like it's there. So we'll turn around, see if we can find anything here. Looks like there's nothing in range, and can't even see the purple that was in this direction. Forest 
Way too thick. Oh, the only ones you're really gonna see is if one spot's here, but you probably get a better indication that it just pulses out from that one. And then there's one over in this direction. You might be able to wish it was up so I could show you what I mean. But you can kinda angle it where you see the smoke the like through there. Anyhow, hope you found this video helpful, and if you did and you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell for future notification. Uh, uh, leave a comment. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Bye for now.